my first grade. I hope everyone is having a great day so far. So today we are going to take a deep dive into what are called interrogative sentences. And you might be thinking to yourself, what is that? I've never heard that word before. Well, don't worry, we're gonna learn about it and talk about it today. But as we've talked about in the past, there are certain things that make a complete sentence complete. So we talked about that, right? Starts with a capital letter. It ends with some sort of punctuation. It has um, a, a subject and a verb. So the subject's who the sentence is about. A ver the verb is what the subject is doing. And it's a complete thought. Okay, so we talked about that. And then you may also remember us talking about what are called declarative sentences. And if you remember, declarative sentences are sentences that make a statement. They tell us something. Uh, the month is November. The floor is blue. The water just spilled. Those are declarative sentences. So we're gonna take a look at some examples of interrogative sentences. And I want you to see if you can figure out what an interrogative sentence is. I bet you can. All right, so here's interrogative. Uh, that's how we spell, that's how we write the word interrogative sentence. So say that with me, interrogative, nice job. And here are some examples. So in our book, Green Eggs and Ham, that you may or may not have already listened to today, uh, you know, this is the book that we're starting new today, there are a lot of interrogative sentences. And here are some examples. Do you like green eggs and ham? Would you eat them in a box? Could you, would you on a train? What do all of those sentences have in common? What do you think? Do you like green eggs and ham? Would you eat them in a box? Could you, would you on a train? What do you think? Yeah, if you were thinking that all of these sentences are questions, you would be correct. An interrogative sentence is a fancy grown-up word for a question or an asking sentence that asks a question. What do you notice about how all of these sentences end? Yeah, they end with a question mark. So an interrogative sentence still starts with a capital letter, but the punctuation that we see at the end of an interrogative sentence is a question mark, okay? So asking sentences, questions, sentences that ask a question are, do you remember the fancy grown up word? Yeah, interrogative, very good. So this is, uh, Again, interrogative sentences, they have a question mark at the end and they are asking a question. So for a little challenge, and maybe once you, if, if you haven't already listened to the read aloud of Green Eggs and Ham, uh, maybe once you do that, go and take a look through this book to see if you can find any other interrogative sentences in this book. There's a lot of them, so see if you can find any others. Or while you're listening to the read aloud of this book, see if you notice uh, any other interrogative sentences, okay? And for this activity, what, what you're going to do is, in your written wisdom workbook, you will go to page 23C, okay, 23C, and here's what it looks like right here, 23C. And the directions say, read each sentence and circle the sentences that are interrogative. So you'll just go through and read each sentence, see if it is an interrogative sentence. In other words, it is asking a question. And if it's asking a question, you can just take your pencil and circle it, okay? And then once you're finished, you can just snap a quick picture of 23C from your workbook attach it to this activity and send it on in. All right, so again, interrogative sentences are what kind of sentences? 
yes, they are asking a question. All right, so keep up the great work and talk to you next time. Bye.